Hello everybody, this is Ramonica Jones, your licensed counselor. Not just your counselor for those things that are in the natural, but also those things that are in the spirit as well. I do want to thank you all for tuning in to our official YouTube channel, where we do respond to others positively. We believe in uplifting. Our model is always empowering. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome home. Today we're going to focus on some quick techniques just to prepare us for a better life for this new year to come. I know a lot of you all are wondering when is it going to get better? How do I get through this season? Um, you might even feel that you're not even equipped to deal with some of the battles that you have faced in last year. And you're dreading even thinking about going into the new year if this new year is going to be faced with some of those same battles. A lot of us are believing in victory for the battles that we've had to fight for last year. And there is a method to receiving these victories. Um, not everybody get victory in every circumstance because not everybody follow the path of victory. So today, Live Blessed just want to equip you with some tools to help you with the victory um, and help you get that victory. And then also you can spread that word to other people so that they can also receive victory in the areas that they are dealing with as well or even in the areas that they're struggling with. One of the key techniques, um, the first technique, of course, is in everything, seek God. Because your victory and your battle is not going to be my battle. And your neighbor's battle may be different than your battle. So God, as well as the Holy Spirit, is going to be your mentor. It's going to be your day-by-day -day mentor. It's just like when you're driving with a GPS system and that GPS system says go left and go right and turn here and make a U-turn and and even when we go the wrong way you know that GPS is able to reroute our system and that is the exact same thing that the Holy Spirit does for us so in all that you're dealing with whether it's health whether it's relationship whether it's career whether it's with your family whether it's with loving yourself healing yourself health Helping yourself and all of those things I would ask that right now you all would welcome the Holy Spirit to come into your life and that you would turn your life to God and allow the Holy Spirit to govern your life because without the Holy Spirit you won't be able to find your path to victory the Bible speaks that there is many different paths there broad is the way to destruction which means that there are so many different ways that is going to destruction but we know that destruction does not sound like victory, but it says narrow is the path and what they're saying is to everlasting life. So to that path of everlasting life and even to that path of victory, that road is narrow. So you're not going to be able to watch what you see other people do and you're not going to be able to always copy and paste their success story and to make it yours. But the Holy Spirit is ever, ever, ever so present ever so available to come into your life and be your GPS system to lead you and guide you out of this wilderness, out of this struggle, out of this place of pain, out of this place that you've cried so many sleepless nights, out of this place in which you have laid up thinking, God, why is it me? It's going to lead you out of your victim mentality. It's going to lead you from being the tail and it's going to place you in your place of being the head. It's going to lead you out of the area of being the borrower and it's going to set you at your seat of being the lender. It's going to lead you even out of your singlehood and into your place of destiny, into marriage, into prosperity, into out of your place of, of illness and into your place of health. So I do not stand in the seat of Holy Spirit. I could never, ever, ever, ever feel those shoes. But if you would let the Holy Spirit be your mentor, be your GPS, be your guide, then I would look forward to seeing you even on your own video telling us how you got the victory, telling us how you're seated at your righteous place, telling us of that your place of understanding that we are and that even you are a royal priesthood and not even knowing how you were able to get to that place, but just knowing that you obeyed the Holy Spirit.
And out of going down many whiny roads and narrow places, the Holy Spirit seated you at your place of victory. And we thank God for that right now. So that is the first technique. That is the sure technique. The second technique that we're going to focus on is control. A lot of us have gone through things in life and we had to depend on ourselves to get the nurturing that we need, to get the nutrition that we need, to get our emotional needs met, to get our physical needs met. And we didn't have anyone that was there or that we could see that is, that was able to provide us with those physical needs, those spiritual needs, those emotional needs, those physical needs. So we learn at a very early age to take control. <laughs> And a lot of us, it is at this season that God is dealing with that spirit of control. Because he is telling us that if we are in control of our lives, then that means that he's not able to be in control. So right now, in this new technique that we're learning, this technique, of course, is going to yield and lend and bend with the Holy Spirit and allow you to be seated in your place of victory. But this technique helps us to give up control and to give that control back to God, back into his hands. If he is able to create heaven and earth, if he, if he is able to change the seasons from one to another and every day determine what the weather will be and allow certain things to happen and, and even sit back and let it all come together, if he's able to be over this universe and over the, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of earth, then surely he's eligible and definitely qualified to be in control of your life, of your small situation, of your, ma of your minor problem. Oh, if he would just speak one word, the very thing that seems like a giant to you would come tumbling down. If he would flink with his left right hand, then all your worry that held over your head will suddenly disappear. But God is in a battle with us today and he's in a battle with us and he's battling against our spirit of control. And he's saying that as long as you are in control, he will not flink that finger and make your problem go away. He's saying as long as you are in control he will not speak one word against the giant that you are facing. So as long as you are in control he will not be seated on the throne in your life. So I challenge each and every one of you right now, no matter how bad it looks like, to get out of the seat of control and say, dear God, have your way, dear Lord God. Come in and whatever you let happen, so shall it be. Because even though you afflict me, yet and still will I trust you. Yes. Because he knows all things. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. It may not look right. It may not feel right. But if you would get out of the seat of control, he would make it right. Even for you. Even today. Even by the end of, the la of this next year, before that year is over with. If you got out of the seat of control, your promise would draw nigh to you. God is a God that he will not share his glory with another. And as long as you are in control, then you're going to be able to say that it was what you did that rendered you the victory. It was what you did that gained you access to success. And he will not share his glory, not even with you. So today I ask you to put down all of your devices, yield to the Holy Spirit, Stop calling, stop speaking, stop texting, stop doing all of those things. Stop going down the road that you've been forging ahead that has not been working for you. Stop taking some of the things and doing some of the things that you've been doing and yield wholeheartedly to the Holy Spirit so that you can sit God back into his seat of control in your life. Because as long as you're sitting there, then you are God of your own life. 
But when you get out of that seat, you make him God of your life. And when he is God of your life, when you gain the victory, you will only be able to say that it was nobody but God. It was nobody but the Lord that brought you out and saw you, saw you through your trouble and into your triumph. And I can tell you, saints, that as long as you're seated in that seat of control, he will not move because he will not share his glory with another. I was told by one of my constituents that she understood that the more that she resisted God's hand in her life, and when we resist God's hand, that is when that spirit of control is ever so present. Because we're saying, no God, we want this back. No God, this way. No God, that way. So when we are in control, we're actually resisting his hand in our life. And we're saying, God, you don't know everything. And we're saying, God, we know better than you. And God will not be insulted by someone that he created. If he created you, then surely he knows more than you do. Give up control right now. And say, God, if you saw fit to allow that to happen, then so shall it be. When you stop resisting his control, yield to his decisions. Yield to his decisions in your life. Yield because out of this trouble, he's already created a higher level of triumph. He has blessed you as much as he could at your place of peace. So now he has stirred up the waters and in the stirring up the waters, in the trouble will come a higher level of breakthrough, a higher level of promise. He could not bless you at that place of peace. He could not bless you at that place that you were at. He could not bless you at that river, at that valley, at that stilled place of water where nothing was moving, nothing was going up, nothing was going down, but you were ready for your higher level. But that higher level could not meet you at that place of peace. So he stirred up the waters that he may bless you on a higher level. He thought enough of you to come into your situation and to trouble your waters that so that when you got out of this, this trouble, this triumph would be like none other. This triumph will break every generational curse. This triumph will break everything that the devil intended. Everything that he intended to destroy you with. Everything that he brought to bring destruction is getting ready to bless you. Because God is going to trouble that water and he's going to put in it healing and blessing and deliverance and promise. And you're getting ready to give birth to the very thing that you struggled with. And you're wondering, why did it not come through when you were struggling with it? And it did not come through because you had your hands on it. And your hands took the place of God's hands. And now that God is moving in, get out of his way, dear saint. Let him have his way. Flow with the rivers of life. Flow with his water. It may not look right. It may not feel right. But I promise you, when you get to the end, it will be just right. Because it will be more than you ever thought, more than you ever intended. Because whatever you lost, whatever troubled you, he has something greater for you. And I'm a living witness. I can testify of it that this is so true. So release your control. In the book of Healing the Child Within, one of the last chapters is entitled The Road of Spirituality. How fitting is that? And it says, life is a process. And, and this is to the author, Charles L. Whitfield, um, MD, medical doctor. And it says, life is a process, force, or flow that lives us. We do not live it. When we surrender to it, flow with its process, and take responsibility for our participation in it, we become co-creators. We can then become free of our suffering that comes with our attachment to resisting flowing with our life. I would challenge you just as Charles L. Whitfield, Dr. Whitfield did in Healing the Child Within. 
I would challenge you right now, saints, to flow with life. Trust your God. Have faith in faith. For faith has never lost a battle. Have faith and believe in God because faith, of course, is the substance of those things hoped for. It is the evidence of those things not seen. But though you are not at the end of your journey, trust God's process to get you where he has intended for you to go. The word says that he has an expected end for you. His end for you is not destruction. You can trust him. You can trust that he, he will not leave you nor forsake you. He's not the caregiver that did not tend to your needs. He is not the person that you learned not to trust. He's not the daddy that walked out on you. He is the creator of the universe. And, and he placed some things in the inside of you that he have birthed in your belly since the foundation of time. Because he knew you before you were yet in your mother's womb. And in that he trusted you with those promises. Since he has trusted you with his promises. Saints, why don't you trust him with his process to get you there? This thing is not unto death. It is not unto your end. This is his process. So saints, take your hand off of it. And say, God, if this is what you decide, if this is what you have come to, if this is your will, if this is your way, I'm going to trust you. Like Dr. Whitfield said, we have to surrender and we have to release control. And we have to put God in full control. Turn on your Holy Spirit GPS system. Get ready for the valley. Get ready for the journey. Get ready for the process. He did not promise us that it will be easy. There might be some bumps. There might be some some rocks and some things in the um or along the road, along the journey. But surely in the end, we will be able to say, God, we give you glory. God, we give you praise. God, we give you honor. God, we thank you because your way was sure. Because broad is the way to destruction, but narrow is that way to life as well as victory. And if we yield to him, he surely will bring us to our blessed place of victory. And we thank God even now. We thank him even now. Thank you all for tuning in. And we also want to thank Yellow Brick Cinema for the wonderful background music on today. God bless you. Be sure to visit our website at www.liveblessedblog.weebly.com. Thank you. Be blessed.